today I have another anchor power station with a problem. Uh, what is this? Seven some powerhouse thing? Hold on. This is the 767 powerhouse. And I fully charged this a few days ago and it's been sitting in the workshop doing nothing. And it is now down to 46% of doing nothing. So it has a phantom power drain. And I can see on display that USB-C, I'm fairly sure that should be off. It shouldn't be stuck on. This display should be blank. So, so it's got a phantom power drain. Now, I was out one day when it was really cold, like frosty, frozen outside, and I came in to move something, and I could feel a warmth off the front of this unit. So we're going to fire up the old uh, uh, doogee here, the um, V20 Pro, and we are going to have a look and see if there's like any weird hot spots on the front before we take it apart. So let me just do a video and let me start the video. Right. So there is a weird hotspot and it's not my reflection. I'm going to move out of the way. It's not it's not a reflection. There's no other heat in here. Right, that's that's the handles where I picked it up and was holding it. And then there'll be a little bit of reflected emissivity from the metal in there. But there is definitely a warmth coming from behind here. And if I run my hand across it, I can feel the warmth coming from behind here. So why is the USB-C stuck on, is the question. Again, the handles are just from where I picked it up. But there is definitely a heat source behind there that is significantly warmer than the rest of the box. So there's the dull grey at that end, 13.8, and the dull grey at this end, which is nearly 19 degrees. So we've got a definite warmth stuck coming on from in behind there. So, the question is, what do we try first? It's got a reset button. Uh, oh man, I have to use another diode here. That's what I've got for poking things. Let's poke it with the diode. So if we turn the display on and press the reset button. Reset. Does it actually make the thing go off? Uh, is it going to come back? Yes, <laughs> it did. Okay, so that um, cured that problem. We don't have to take it apart now, thankfully. But why? Why, why, why was USB-C stuck on? Because it doesn't come on by itself. It only comes on if you turn on the DC outlets, which covers that. No, wait, that just puts them on. That puts that on. So the question is, what turns them on? Do I have to plug something in to turn them on? Uh, USB-C to USB-C cable, right. USB-C, DC output, and I'll plug in the doogee. Doogee. Plug in the doogee. And... Nothing happens. Turn on the gas sockets. No. My doogee definitely not charging. It is definitely not charging. Okay. So, how do you turn on the DC sockets? Anyone? That's the Bluetooth. That turns on the power saving. Yep. That's the light. Yep. So, how come my... Well, oh, there we go. Right, now it's come on. And in theory, when I... Right, we're outputting. I don't know if you can see. It's outputting two watts. So the doogee is basically fully charged. Now, if I take this out, it should turn off. Yes, we are in agreement. Okay, I did it that time. That one doesn't do anything. That one does. So, guess it looks like we've got a faulty USB-C socket. What have I got in the way of electrical cleaner? 
let's try some electrical cleaner in there just to uh, have electrical contact cleaner. So let's just give that a wee. This might take the paint off the front of the thing. Okay, let's give everybody a wee, a wee squish. Has it taken the paint off? Uh, no, good, excellent, right. Excess. Make sure they're nice and clean. You may have noticed that the rubber bit that covers them is missing. That's because it's been out actually doing real world things, living also as drift life. Right. Once again, we will try plugging it into the top slot. Do, 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 do. Nothing. Okay. So, there is a good chance. That, that USB slot, the USB C slot, has bit the dust. Yes. Okay. Well, the main thing is though that we've solved the phantom power drain. So your 767 powerhouse, when doing nothing, should have nothing on the display except the battery percentage and the little graph thing that shows you the battery charge. If it's got any other displays on there, like the mains or the 12 volts, something is stuck on. And in our case, it was the USB-C power bank over here. And pressing the reset button that lives down there in that hole fixes that problem. We haven't had to take this one apart and it didn't die the same death as the other one, which is good. So, any questions, comments, anything like that, leave them down below. And I'll try my best to answer them. As always, thanks for watching.